I went to Coppin State University in Baltimore and the very first uh, time I met all of my track athletes or my teammates, they told me later on, their very first impression of me was they said behind my back like, oh, that white girl's going to have a hard time fitting in here. And after a while that's known me, of course, those things went away. But initially they just didn't like me because of the color of my skin, which to me is racism at its truest form, it's, which is why for me, a um, big question of extreme discomfort that I've been asked and uh, people ask all the time is, do you identify yourself as a black woman? And I don't know where people are coming from when they ask that question. Are they asking me that question because they want to see if I'm denouncing my race or I'm embarrassed of it? Or they ask me that question to see if I'm a wannabe? And they're looking like, you're not really black. So because of that, I associate myself as being mixed and being black is a wonderful part of me, but it's not all of me. I don't really, I don't want to be in a position where I feel like people think I'm a wannabe. And I really hope that people would just stop picking on light-skinned girls, and it really is a matter of bullying. And I, I know that some people are going to have a qualm with that, but I do really believe that lots of black girls bully uh, light-skinned girls. And luckily for me, I'm a very strong personality, and, and uh, I'm not very easily intimidated, so I strive and I work through it. And eventually people will turn their opinion of you, but it's very difficult to walk into every single situation and be judged on your color. I do agree with what Andrea said that lots of dark skin guys, I think there is an issue there and I do agree with that because there's some type of attraction to light skin girls and I've often heard dark skin guys say I don't date dark skin girls which I think is very sad. I have heard light skin guys say I don't date light skin girls which to me is very sad because it's a form of self-rejection. The reason why I personally don't date dark skin guys is because I don't want to piss off dark skin girls anymore. I don't want them to think I'm stealing their men or that um, trying to be black by associating with a black person. So as a defense mechanism, I've kind of embraced mixed people as my people because I feel like nobody can say anything bad about me if I'm dating somebody who's just like me. And I do often identify with mixed girls because we, you know, we share that upbringing of, and everybody goes through a phase, I think when you're mixed, when you want to be black or you want to be white because there's no real defined mixed race. So we don't identify with each other. And oftentimes mixed people, go against each other. 
And I knew that in college there's a girl named, uh, well, what's her name? There's a girl in college who was also mixed on the track team, and me and her were not friends. And I felt like it's because she had to, like, out black me, and we couldn't be together, we had to be against each other. And she would constantly compare skin, you know, against my arm, that's so damaging. Like, who cares who's darker? It's not a competition, and it's a very stupid and juvenile competition that causes a lot of self-hate. And, uh, I personally hate when I'm pale. And I don't know if that's conditioning to this day, I'll tell you guys this, I go tanning, and I'm very obsessed with tanning. And I'm sure it stemmed somewhere from, you know, from a childhood, from not wanting to be the lightest, um, to really wanting to be just darker and just more of a, a medium complexion where my race wasn't questioned all the time. Because it's very annoying to constantly be questioned for who you are, because you just kind of want to be who you are. And I really hope everybody else out there can share in that feeling, and I hope we can all grow from this conversation and topic and realize that we're all just people who just want to do our own thing and not be judged and just like you and just like me and I've got my issues and you've got yours. Let's get over all of them and have some coke and Kool-Aid.